My name is Joe Demers, and this is the first video of a five-part series on how to dance drag blues. The goal of this video is to show you some of the influences dancers and dancers have had on the modern dance form. Drag blues is not just a style, but a defined form. The subsequent videos will teach you how to dance drag blues. Due to the nature of dance and its forever evolving movement, drag blues has evolved as such from vintage blues and swing dance styles. Although I've been a forerunner of this dance form, I am not the only ambassador of the dance. There have been many other dancers who have captured the same feeling of music as me, like Chance Bushman, Amy Johnson, Mike Faltasak, Brenda Russell, Shahid Kazam, Damon Stone, and Heidi Fight, as well as many other unnamed dancers. These videos are meant to be educational and help dancers perform it correctly. Drag Blues is a beautiful dance. Over the next four videos, you will learn drag blues as I dance it, learning from my experience, research, passion, and love for the dance. Although it shares many similarities to walking dances like tango and some ballroom dances, it is not an altered version of them. The technique evolved similarly, but with a different history, culture, and influence. I will teach you from my experience and learning. I've only taken a few classes of tango, not enough to influence my dancing. In these videos, I will, take you, I will take on the role of an authority figure on and teacher of the dance. Let's start with the history of drag blues. based on the slow drag, a couple's dance common to the juke and the honky-tonk. The piece is controversial for audiences in 1940. Barrel House Blues was depicting the time in Chicago when it was cold, and just knowing this lonely woman who felt a little beat up went on in a bar and, and had the time of her life, just for a moment, finds this young man and fantasizes. <laughs> The critics were just baffled. They were ignorant to the fact that this was a combination of the authentic with the artistic. So they reverted back to their safety of, it was sizzling, it was hot, it was torrid, it was sexy and all that business. Though the reviews are enthusiastic, they're laced with a tone of condescension. John Martin, America's leading dance critic, calls Barrel House Blues an incredible vulgarity in the New York Times. Like any innovator, you're bound to give your audience trouble, and Catherine Dunham did. What they saw, many a critic dismissed as cabaret and they felt it had no depth. 
that wasn't true. She was sassy, and she was courageous. She would always take risks, always with her material. Even though they may uh, criticize her, like maybe that was too risque, she wanted them to know we're complex people. Here's someone who said this is important, vernacular dance. The idea of looking at the blues experience in the body. The idea of looking at the jazz experience in the body. The idea of looking at the spiritual experience in the body through dance. That's a powerful legacy. John Martin said, when he was reviewing Catherine, it's not designed to delve into philosophy or psychology, but to externalize the impulses of a high-spirited, rhythmic, and gracious race. And I asked Catherine at one point about her feelings about John Martin's take on what she did. And she said in this very, very ladylike, subdued way, he was trying to be her. In the book Jukin by Katrina Hazard Gordon, Frankie Manning's autobiography, and Jazz Dance, The Story of American Vernacular Dance, by Marshall and Jean Stearns. They stated that when the music got slow, dancers did the slow drag, just hanging on each other and barely moving. It was sexy and sensual. Dancers did other dance movements like the fanny bump, buzzard lope, fishtail, eagle rock, itch, shimmy, squat, grind, mooch, funky butts, and many more. Visualize the follower hanging on the leader and both dancers creating hit movements in rhythm with the music.
Most people tend to dance drag blues to vintage swing that's a little bit slower. Drag blues has a lot of swing syncopations, style of moves and movement, and connection technique. But really, it can be morphed to dance to many other styles and genres of music. I'll discuss that more in video 5. The primary characteristic of this dance is the style of walk. Both partners lean in the opposite direction they are going. Uh, dancers maintain contrabody movement, a glide in their step, uh, a timing of and one to prep the body and then move across the floor, and there's also a strong emphasis on a follower's ownership of her or his movement. Uh, followers are responsible for all the shape changes in their own body and for the most part do not rely on the leader to morph his or her body. Uh, I will demonstrate in video two the technique of drag blues walking. The next few videos We'll show you some of the dancers that have had an influence on shaping our modern drag blues. It is not by any means comprehensive. It just gives you an idea of how the dance has changed to be what it is today.
Another night lost at sea Crawling over walls The room was bare And the floors were cold The pain starts to peel And the night unfolds The winds were bleak I could hardly speak Another night lost at sea Crawling over To sleep. I try to lay down, but the walls begin to creep. I lock the door, but I can't ignore another night lost at sea. And my heart began to sing Will it ever end? Will my heart ever mend? Another night lost at sea Crawling the walls Another life lost at sea Watching, sharing with friends, learning and dancing. Teach your dancers drag blues and ask them to contribute to it and shape the future of this dance, capturing the feeling of the dance that inspired so many of us. Thank you so much and go ahead and watch the next four videos on how to dance drag blues, drag blues moves, connection, and drag blues as a fusion dance, morphing it to different styles of music and taking on uh, other influences from the other dances. Another, another, another.